In this video, I'm going to rank my three favorite no-code app builders for 2024. And I'm not gonna list them in any particular order, but I'm gonna rank them because I use them all for different purposes. So all of these are great tools, but I use each one for a slightly different use case. So without further ado, let's get into it. At number one, we have create.xyz. This tool is literally insane because it has text to app capabilities. So you literally just write in plain English what you want it to build and it literally goes and builds it. You can also upload a screenshot of something and it'll remake it and then you can have it make tweaks to that screenshot that you just showed it. So here are all the things that I use Create for on a daily basis. One, building internal tools. So I actually built a price calculator for my development agency where prospects can go through this calculator, kind of say what they want to build and actually get a price from the calculator without having to actually meet with my team. And I built this super quickly in Create. I'll pop it up on the screen for you to look at. Two is micro SaaS applications. So I built a software idea generator that I just made as a little micro SaaS and I got a paying user on it. And I built that super quickly inside of Create without knowing a thing about how to code. Software design mockups. So now instead of paying my Figma team to build software mockups, I literally just use Create, tell it what I wanted to build and design. I just constantly keep making tweaks with it until our customers are happy. And then I use that as a design and I hand that to our development team to actually start building it. Landing pages. I build all my landing pages now utilizing Create and I also host them on Create. And then I use it for graphics. So on my latest webinar, I made all my different graphics using Create. I would just say like, hey, make me a graphic on why software is awesome and use these three key points. And then it goes and makes that graphic for me. The craziest part is it's literally free to sign up. And even if you do upgrade to Pro for some of the Pro features, it's only $19 a month, which is crazy affordable compared to what else is out there. So if you guys want to test out Create for yourselves, just click the link in the description and you can try it out for free. For number two, of course, we have Bubble. Bubble is my favorite no-code builder because it's so customizable and it's so scalable. Now, their biggest con is they don't have a native way for you to build mobile apps. And so that's what they get dinged a lot for. And the other thing they ding for is because of vendor lock. So you cannot export the code off of Bubble. And some people care about that. But for the most part, in my opinion, most don't because you never really have to move off of Bubble and obviously there's some cases where you do, but a lot of the people that we work with, they honestly prefer to stay on Bubble because it's so much faster to iterate and they don't have any issues. And so even me personally, while I was running Closeify, I could have moved off of Bubble and paid to get it built with code, but I chose to stay on Bubble because it was faster to iterate and we had no problems with it. It scaled fine, it was customizable. So I'm a big fan of Bubble because it's so much faster and you can build really, really awesome applications using it. You can learn how to build on Bubble in just a few weeks. There's a lot of great free courses out there, even like from AirDev. So like if you wanna learn how to build on Bubble, you can probably do it in like two to six weeks, depending on how technical you already are. And at number three, we have Flutterflow. Flutterflow is also a very solid option for web applications. It's also very customizable and it's also very scalable. But where Flutterflow really shines is they do have the ability for you to make mobile apps natively. So they get a lot of bonus points for that. And then the other thing they get big props for is you actually can export the code. So if you ever wanted to move off of Flutterflow, you can export the code and do that much easier. These two aspects are what makes Flutterflow super attractive. And that's why I put in my top three for no code app builders in 2024. So there you have it. Those are my top three no-code app builders for 2024. If you want to try any of those out, I've put the link in the description to try out all of them. And if you guys want to work with me over the next 90 to 120 days on starting your own software company, I'll put the link in the description to see if it's a fit. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.